The year is 1533, and England's very landscape is about to be reshaped by one man's colossal appetites and fears. King Henry VIII, a monarch of unmatched charisma and appetite, sits on the throne. He's already renowned for his lavish banquets, imposing stature and keen intellect. But beneath the surface, a storm brews, his desperate desire for a male heir to secure the Tudor dynasty. This year marks a pivotal turn. Henry's eyes are locked on Anne Boleyn, a bewitching lady-in-waiting. Their scandalous romance defies not just societal norms, but the very authority of the Pope, as Henry seeks to annul his 24-year marriage to Catherine of Aragon. This move isn't just about love, it's a chess game for legacy. The Catholic Church's refusal to grant an annulment ignites a religious and political firestorm, leading to England's seismic break from Rome and the birth of the Church of England. Anne Boleyn's ascent to Queen is a tale of ambition and tragedy. Her intelligence and charm captivate Henry, but her inability to produce a male heir marks her downfall. Accusations of witchcraft and adultery lead to her dramatic execution, a shocking twist in this royal saga. But Henry's story doesn't end there. His quest for a male heir becomes an obsessive crusade, shaping his subsequent marriages. After Anne comes Jane Seymour, the gentlewoman who finally fulfills his most coveted wish, bearing him a son, Edward. However, joy turns to ashes as Jane dies shortly after childbirth, leaving Henry devastated. In a strategic move, Henry then marries Anne of Cleves, a political alliance that fizzles into an annulment due to lack of attraction. The king's roving eye next falls on the young and vivacious Catherine Howard, a marriage that ends in tragedy with her execution for alleged infidelity. Finally, Henry's turbulent romantic journey concludes with Catherine Parr, a twice-widowed, intelligent woman. She becomes an ally, nurse, and stepmother to his children, surviving Henry to eventually marry for love. Henry's reign, though marked by personal scandals, is also a time of significant change. He's a complex figure, a patron of the arts, a warrior king, a tyrant, and a reformer. His policies and decisions lead to the English Reformation, changing the religious landscape of England forever. As we look back, Henry VIII's legacy is an amalgamation of intrigue, power, and transformation. His life is a captivating story of a man whose personal and political decisions continue to echo through history. His quest for a son, his six marriages, and his break with the Catholic Church are not just footnotes in history books. They are the stuff of drama, the kind that tells us about the complexities of power, love, and legacy.